the biggest question is for the Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason has been should they and will they franchise tag edge rusher Bud Dupree? Now, Bud Dupree is coming off of the best season of his career. He had 11 and a half sacks in 2019. And everybody's wondering will and should Pittsburgh exercise the franchise tag on him? And if I'm the general manager for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with what I'm about to say, but I would not franchise tag but Dupree. Now, here's why. Pittsburgh does not have the cap space to work out a long-term deal with Bud Dupree. Bud Dupree's market value in free agency is supposed to be between $10 to $12 million a year, which means he's probably going to end up signing a four-year deal or a five-year deal between $60 million and $70 million, somewhere around that range. Pittsburgh does not really have that much cap space to try to get a deal like that worked out. Because here's all that would happen. Pittsburgh could franchise tag Bud Dupree, and then Bud Dupree pulls a Le'Veon Bell, he sets out OTAs, he sits out training camp until he gets a new deal done. And if Pittsburgh can't come close to at least giving him a considerable offer, it'll be a waste of the franchise tag. You see, Pittsburgh doesn't have the cap space this offseason and the following offseason to give Bud Dupree the deal that he's looking for in free agency. So Pittsburgh would be better suited off letting Bud Dupree walk and bringing in a guy like a Vic Beasley or bringing in a low-key free agent signing. Because Pittsburgh is a team that if you have been a Pittsburgh Steelers fan for as long as I've been, I've been a Pittsburgh Steelers fan my whole entire life. I'm 17 years old. I've been still a fan for 11 years. And the Pittsburgh Steelers never really make a lot of noise in free agency. The biggest free agent signing the Pittsburgh Steelers had was Joe Hayden a couple of seasons back. And probably Steven Nelson. And Steven Nelson last year, a lot of people still fans just said, oh, okay, we signed Steven Nelson. But it actually ended up being a really good signing. It was an underrated signing. See, that's what Pittsburgh does. That's what great organizations do. They get underrated free agent signings, guys that fit what they want to do. So you could bring in Vic Beasley and try to see what he could do. Or you, it's other options. But I'm not going to invest $10 million dollars a year into a guy that has only had one double-digit sack season and that's the year prior. Now, prior to 2019, the most sacks Bud Dupree had in his career was six sacks in 2017. So, on the average, Bud Dupree is averaging five to six sacks a season. Now, a lot of you guys might be like, oh, that's pretty good. Yes, it is. But if I'm paying a guy $10 million a year, I'm expecting that guy to produce at least nine to 10 sacks or more a season. You see, JJ TJ Watt is a guy I would pay that kind of money to. JJ Watt is a guy that gets that kind of money. Aaron Donald gets that kind of money. Matt, Khalil Mack gets that kind of money. So you're asking yourself, you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, that if we franchise Tab Bud Dupree, we're under the suspicion that we can get a long term deal done. But I just don't think that's realistic. And if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm looking at Bud Dupree, I'm like, do I think Bud Dupree deserves to get that kind of money that guys like Khalil Mack, J.J. Watt, and Aaron Donald make? And simply the answer is no. You can't put Bud Dupree in that conversation. Now, a lot of you guys might be like, it's just one season, but I mean, if you want to pay, if you want to make this guy one of the highest paid pass rushers in the NFL, you got to stack him up against how he fares against some of the other guys that are making that kind of money. And I, I just don't see it. I just think it's too risky. You see, if Bud Dupree had two back-to-back double-digit sack seasons, I would say, yeah, go ahead and give him the franchise tag. Go ahead and try to sign him to a long-term extension if Pittsburgh had the cap space. But we've only seen a small sample size out of Bud Dupree. He only had one double-digit sack season in 2019. And we've seen it so many times. A lot of players cash out. Because they have one great season or contract year, and they fade away. And I'm just saying, that could end up being Bud Dupree. So I think Pittsburgh would be better suited, not franchise tagging Bud Dupree, letting him walk off a free agency, 
and bring in a guy like a Vic Beasley who you can give a one-year deal to, give him a pretty minimal salary, and see what he could do. So the Pittsburgh Steelers should not franchise tag but Dupree. Too risky, too much money to be paying a guy like that based on his production of one season. And simply, Pittsburgh doesn't have the money to dish out what Bud Dupree is probably going to ask for. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the Pittsburgh Steelers should franchise tag Bud Dupree? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel because I upload NFL videos, college football videos, and XFL videos daily. And thanks for watching.